Catch-22 by Joseph Heller is a satirical war novel that explores the absurdity and contradictions of bureaucratic systems, particularly in the military during World War II. The story revolves around Captain John Yasserian, a bombardier stationed on the small Mediterranean island of Pianosa, and his desperate attempts to stay alive in a war that seems to have no end and no logic. The novel's title comes from the paradoxical rule known as Catch-22, which defines the central dilemma faced by Yasserian and his fellow soldiers. The rule states that a soldier can be grounded from flying dangerous combat missions if he is considered insane. However, the very act of requesting to be grounded shows that the soldier is sane because wanting to avoid dangerous missions is a rational response to the risks of war. Therefore, no one can ever be declared insane and removed from duty, trapping the soldiers in a no-win situation. This absurd logic defines much of the novel's tone and message. Yasserian is obsessed with survival and sees the war as a meaningless slaughter. He becomes increasingly frustrated as he realizes that the number of combat missions he must fly to complete his service keeps increasing. Every time he nears the required number, his commanding officers, like Colonel Cathcart, raise the number of missions to boost their own careers. Yasserian's desire to escape the war becomes his central motivation, and much of the novel focuses on his increasingly desperate and sometimes humorous attempts to avoid flying more missions. The characters in Catch-22 are colorful and exaggerated, representing various forms of bureaucratic incompetence, corruption, and madness. For example, Milo Minderbinder is a mess officer who turns war into a business venture, creating an elaborate syndicate where he profits from both sides of the conflict, even making deals with the enemy. Milo's actions show the absurdity of war profiteering, as his schemes often put his own men at risk, but he justifies everything by claiming, everyone has a share. Doc Danica, the squadron's flight surgeon, is the one who explains the Catch-22 rule to Yasserian. Despite being a doctor, Doc Danica is more concerned with his own comfort and safety than with helping the men under his care. He refuses to ground Yasserian, citing the Catch-22 logic, and constantly complains about his own situation, even though he is relatively safe compared to the soldiers. Another memorable character is Major 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 Major, a man who was promoted to the rank of Major purely due to the absurd coincidence of his name. He becomes so overwhelmed by the pressure of his rank and responsibilities that he begins avoiding people altogether, only allowing subordinates to visit his office when he isn't there, creating another layer of absurdity in the bureaucratic system. Lieutenant Skyscoff, obsessed with parades and winning meaningless competitions, represents the absurd priorities of the military establishment, where form often outweighs substance. His focus on trivialities contrasts with the life-and-death situations faced by the soldiers under his command. As the novel progresses, Yasserian becomes increasingly isolated in his quest to survive. His friends and fellow soldiers begin to die, often in tragic and pointless ways. The deaths of characters like Nately, a young and idealistic officer, and Clevenger, who disappears during a mission and is presumed dead, underscore the randomness and senselessness of war. These losses drive Yasserian to further distance himself from the war and the military, leading to his growing rebellion. One of the most poignant moments in the novel comes with the death of Snowden, a young gunner on Yasserian's plane. Yasserian witnesses Snowden's horrific death and the trauma of this event haunts him throughout the novel. Snowden's death reveals to Yasserian the fragility of life and the brutality of war, reinforcing his belief that survival is the only thing that matters. The novel's absurdity is further heightened by the fragmented, non-linear narrative structure. Heller often jumps back and forth in time, repeating events from different perspectives and slowly revealing the connections between characters and incidents. This structure mirrors the chaos and confusion of war, making it difficult for readers and the characters themselves to make sense of what is happening. The climax of the novel occurs when Yasserian is offered a way out. Colonels Cathcart and Korn offer to send him home if he agrees to support them by publicly praising their leadership. Yasserian is tempted, but he ultimately refuses, realizing that accepting the deal would betray his fallen comrades and compromise his own integrity. Instead, he decides to desert the military, fleeing to Sweden in the hope of finding freedom and peace. 
This decision represents Yasserian's final act of defiance against the absurdity and injustice of the military system. Catch-22 is more than just a war novel. It is a biting critique of bureaucratic systems, the dehumanizing effects of war, and the ways in which individuals are trapped by contradictory rules and expectations. The novel portrays war not as a noble or heroic endeavor but as a chaotic, absurd, and ultimately pointless exercise in survival. At its core, Catch-22 explores the tension between individual survival and societal expectations. Yasserian's journey is one of self-preservation, but it is also a broader commentary on the futility of war and the madness of a system that sacrifices human lives for the sake of rules, profits, and careers. Heller's dark humor and sharp satire make the novel a powerful and timeless exploration of the absurdities of life in both war and peace. In the end, Yasserian's decision to escape symbolizes a rejection of the system that has ensnared him and his comrades, offering a glimmer of hope in an otherwise bleak and absurd world.